program was recorded at Gardner's Supply Chain Executive Conference in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm pleased to welcome Supply Chain Brain Managing Editor, Bob Bowman. What is a platform-based supply chain solution? Let's get an answer from Jeff Cashman, Senior Vice President of Business Development for Manhattan Associates. Jeff, welcome to the program. Hi, Bob. How are you? I'm good. Uh, why don't you explain to our viewers just what are the benefits of a so-called platform-based supply chain solution? Yeah, you know, Bob, about, um, about five years ago, we laid out a strategy at Manhattan Associates around um, the supply chain and looking at it holistically. And as we look at that supply chain, the challenges uh, that our customers are facing, the complexities that are coming into the supply chain, we really looked at that from an application set and said, what what from an application suite do we need to provide to our customers to really provide this value, significant value, uh, and what we think of as whole chain awareness. And what whole chain awareness is, is a holistic view of supply chain, really from planning all the way through execution. Uh, we've invested uh, a little over uh, a quarter of a billion dollars over the last five years uh, around this platform, really led by our customers. Uh, our customers' challenges that they've been seeing over time, even at this conference, how they've been talking about the increased complexities in supply chain, and they'll continue. And so our, our objective here and our strategy, we've, we've gone through the, the development and we've now launched that platform into the marketplace uh, and, uh, and are starting to see some, uh, some, some benefits. This is a journey. Uh, this is a process of uh, not a rip and replace from an application infrastructure. This is much more along the lines of identifying and aligning the strategy from an operations perspective along with IT. And with that, you're really going to have the ability to implement these solutions over time to really then see this whole chain effect. But how is it really different from what's out there today? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, uh, over the last decade, uh, we've moved from a best of breed solution to suite solutions to now platform solutions. And, uh, and the best of breed solutions and even the suites really provided from a total cost of ownership for the CIO and the IT group, uh, a tremendous amount of cost and a tremendous amount of risk especially around these business critical applications. So as we've evolved, uh, both from a business process perspective as well as the technology perspective, we, we viewed uh, the platform as really providing a, a common platform, common technology for our customers to deploy these solutions over time and take away the extra cost, uh, take away the risk or mitigate the risk and the ability to uh, launch those solutions over time um, um, really is the differentiator. Uh, when you start to add these functions from one functional area, for example, in the distribution center, into transportation, into order lifecycle management, as you start to add these additional functions on, the ability now to not only optimize within that functional area, but now across those functional areas. And as you start to optimize, you now have the ability to think about how inventory will be affected from the plan all the way through to delivery, uh, how my labor will be infected across the entire network. It's a huge advantage and therefore that level of integration, both from a technology perspective, but now from a process perspective, really is the key differentiator against the best of breed and suite solutions. So you get away from that possibility of optimizing in one area and sub-optimizing in the other. You think you've got it all working here in the warehouse, but that's not necessarily the best solution on the transportation side. That's exactly right. This helps to do it. But give me a little more understanding of what you mean by whole chain awareness. What exactly is that and what are the benefits that come from that perspective? Yeah. When you think about uh, some of the challenges that our customers are seeing today uh, in this multi-channel world, um, the challenges they're seeing specifically on inventory. I think inventory is a great example, especially as we've gone through this deep recession and now we're coming out. Working capital is difficult to, to come by. Be, uh, companies are being very, very smart about how they deploy that working capital. Inventory is a great place to look at. So when you start to think about it from planning, uh, forecasting, then all the way through the execution side uh, of that inventory, the ability to look at it in each one of those categories is very good. We do that very well. A lot of companies do that very well. But then to take that up across the network and to be able to look at that shared inventory pile across those multi-channels 
and reduce the number of inventory without sacrificing the service level. And I think that our customers, uh, as they look at that challenge from a working capital perspective, but we cannot sacrifice that service level uh, at the customer, uh, especially when we start to move into these new uh, and emerging channels. In order to make this work though, is it necessary to acquire the entire package all at once or can you kind of bolt in pieces as you go? Yeah, that's a great, that's a great question and one that our customers have really led and their, and their thoughts are, look, don't make me rip and replace here. This is a journey and so it is really uh, the ability to build upon um, uh, the solution set. Platform comes in, and, and as, as the business opportunity approaches, you then have the ability to, in a modular way, uh, then put the, the, the next application set into the overall platform. Uh, that was really directed by our customers, and I think as we've developed the platform, this common, uh, common framework, uh, this what we call the supply chain process platform, this common technology really allows our customers to, in a modular way over time, bring those applications in. So you start to get this exponential multiplier effect. The ability to say, look, I'm gonna get my benefits within the four walls of the distribution center, but then when I put transportation in place, I now can see not only within transportation the benefits, the, uh, within the distribution center the benefits, but now combined. The ability to move to processes like flow through distribution. Uh, the ability to really uh, optimize your labor across that network. Those are the benefits that we think from a multiplier effect as you start to plug in uh, these, uh, these uh, modules over time. Is there by necessity a collaboration aspect though, allowing companies to collaborate with their external supply chain partners in this platform? Yeah, it's, it's, it's critical. Uh, uh, the collaboration uh, and the supply chains are now global. And so we clearly see the need for collaboration visibility. And as the visibility uh, partners join in, into the, uh, the, the ecosystem, if you will, the supply chain, really being able to pr uh, provide that level of visibility across the supply chain to allow us to better act and hopefully uh, not just react, but get in front of situations as they arise uh, to really drive that, uh, that, um, that optimization again at the inventory level across the network. Yes, yeah, so partners are very, very important here. So clearly you are driven by the input from your customers. What are the main challenges that they tell you that they're facing right now? Yeah, it's, uh, uh, for a customer set, we're, we're, the challenge that they're seeing is, is the opportunity really around this multi-channel world. Uh, how are we going to be able to service our customers, uh, grab market share, but do it in a very, very efficient way. Uh, and do that in a way that we're, we're, we're looking at inventory, we're looking at our expense, uh, but we're uh, delighting our customer. Uh, one of the challenges specifically in retail we see is specifically around multi-channel. The e-commerce impact, the wholesale impact, as well as the brick and mortar impact. Do we, do, do we build new stores? How do I, how do I get that next customer? Um, and uh, that challenge, I think, is very, very impactful because it's, it's not isolated. It, it is a dramatic impact both on the market and the service side for the customer, as well as from an operational perspective. We have, a, we have an ad that we just put out, and I think it's a very, uh, very telling ad. And it's got uh, probably a 14 or 15 year old girl with all these um, device, uh, devices from a handheld device perspective, and, and she is now the master of your supply chain. Uh, and I think it's very, very relevant to how a market and how our customers can react and take a hold of that new master of the supply chain uh, is, I think, a, a great opportunity at the sea level all the way through the operations. So as we come in, out of the recession, you really feel that companies are, are really looking at this kind of thing as opposed to simply hunkering down and trying to keep costs down. Yeah, I think this is not only about a cost. Cost is a, is a, a primary driver here, but now it's about market share. And it's, and it's about using the supply chain for competitive advantage and the ability to grab that market share, delight the customer, but do it in a very, very smart and efficient way. So thank you so much, Jeff, for that whole chain perspective. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. Yes. I've been speaking with Jeff Cashman of Manhattan Associates. Thank you very much for watching.